From protocol to political returns, the week that served Kenyans with the fodder they needed to keep social media abuzz. All right, and as uh, Tessa Martin reports, so if you thought Shen was still a thing, you need to wake up and smell the newest lingo. That's a Shen. 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 <laughs> 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 That's what they say. Uh, Nakulo Lombotov. Lombotov. Yeah, you have to I go know. with that one. I know it. All right, here's a social media week. Interesting <laughs> one of that. <laughs> hey. Mrembeteng na kulomboto. Do I understand what I said? No. But apparently that is the new language making rounds on social media. The analogy of the Tower of Babel, a tower built by Noah's descendants, probably in Babylon, who intended it to reach up to heaven. God foiled them by confusing their language so they could no longer understand one another. But it looks like the evolution of languages has not reached its peak yet because Shembeteng has rocked social media hard this week. Inaitwa Shembeteng. Ni kitu imekumbwa tu jana bomba taya. Imekumbwa tu jetu kuumbwa tu. Ni inaitwa Shembeteng. Madaraka Day was not spared from the Lumbu Tuga. Haramba tambe. Mimi timi uhumbu tunya nimekumbwa tu. Ningependa tenda kumkaribimbi tisha. And talking of the president, Kenya's fourth rolled into Uhuru Gardens for the KDF air show on the wheels. Didi tweeted, Bodyguards wametoka mbio kwa gari, unaeza vania wamekosea. Benson wrote, I will miss Uhuru for driving himself and his dress code. At last, Uhuru Gardens is open to the public, a spectacle to behold. But for Omera, something appears to be missing. He laments, Bona kuna stachi ya fisi apo, ai? Meanwhile, it was a week that saw the return of Man Stivo to Azimio, a major earthquake announcement, he dubbed it. Kibisu tweeted, what happens to your running mate now? <laughs> Wah? Ben, umeamua kurudi soko, hehe, <laughs> laughing emoji. Lord said, this guy though, emoji of slaps his face in disbelief. Anyway, looking to get rich these tough economic times, apparently you might not need much to secure a job. All you need perhaps is a Zimbabwean passport. Fred broke the news. Unconfirmed reports show that people in Zimbabwe are selling tolls. A big toll, 40,000 US dollars, middle toll, 25,000 US dollars, and tiny toll, 10,000 US dollars because of the high cost of living. Do you have a friend visiting Zimbabwe? Kindly, do not ask them about it. Well, that's it for us today. Catch you next week on Savage Netizens. For Easy Friday, I am Teresa Mutai.